You once told me that when I gave my heart, I would give it without reservation. I believe when you give your heart, it will be without hesitation. And you were almost right. Almost, no. But you cannot give it to me. Please, Victoria. He is someone who is clever at stealing hearts. He must not take yours. I think you have it already. No, you must keep it intact for someone else. I shall never forget. May I be of assistance, ma'am? Thank you, Lord Melbourne. But when I require assistance, I will ask for it. So young, with such responsibilities. I should be most grateful. She should not have to bear them alone. It seems I can't manage unaided. It would be my pleasure to serve you, ma'am. If there are gaps in my knowledge, I have an excellent tutor in Lord Melbourne. Of course, you have the excellent and devoted Lord Melbourne. Lord M should be here. He always knows these things. Where is Lord M? I hope Lord M won't be much longer. I sent for Lord M hours ago. I should be here by now. Why hasn't he come? I believe they call her Mrs. Melbourne. I feel I should tell you, ma'am, that at Holland House, they call you Mrs. Melbourne. I will not be your Prime Minister forever, ma'am. Don't say that, Lord M. How can I? How will I? How can you leave me to face this alone? Do you really mean to forsake me? Do you imagine that I want to leave you, ma'am? I have no choice, ma'am. Don't you want to be my Prime Minister? I do want things to change. I mean that the Queen must marry. Then she will look to her husband, not to me. Not all Queens marry, ma'am. Do you think she was lonely? I have decided to follow her example and reign alone. I believe she found companions. With companions, perhaps. But I believe you will not be happy alone, even with companions. You need a husband. There is no one I care for. I feel sorry for the Queen. I think she would rather dance with Lord Melbourne. She is so attached to Lord Melbourne. Victoria likes many people, I think. Lord Melbourne, for example. I want to dance with you. You do not, I hope, Imagine that your Lord M could ever be more than your Prime Minister. He is a man of great feeling. I know. He would be such a good companion for you. Perhaps you should marry him. But you're the only companion I could ever desire. There's something more important here than my feelings, or even yours. I believe, Emma, the Queen knows the difference between duty and inclination. 